Hey folks, Tom Bell here with your Diz Daily Fix for Wednesday, August 15th, 2018. First, some sad news to report this morning. As an industrial accident has claimed the life of a Walt Disney World cast member. According to Orange County Sheriff's, a 61-year-old man died overnight after he slipped into a vat of oil. Deputies say that two workers were at the Reedy Creek Energy Facility up emptying oil and grease byproduct from a semi-truck into the vat. The other worker attempted to rescue the victim from the vat, but was unsuccessful. The Reedy Creek Fire Department later recovered the body. The victim has not yet been identified, uh, but our thoughts are with the man's family and his fellow cast members. In other news, the My Disney Experience app was recently updated to feature capabilities from the Shop Disney Parks app. Uh, Walt, Disney World, uh, Walt Disney World Park goers now have the convenience of finding gifts and souvenirs in the same app that they used to plan their Disney day. Uh, guests can browse through items and learn where to find them in the parks or have them shipped home. Um, now, that said, however... Uh, Yesterday on our Facebook page, when we posted this story, many guests were saying that in the app, they were told most of the items are available only in the parks. So be sure to keep that in mind. Now, while the My Disney Experience app has added the shopping capabilities, the Shop Disney Parks app continues to be offered. Finally today, back in June, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming began offering their Rise and Shine brunch each Sunday. Well, yesterday on Twitter, the restaurant announced that the brunch has been expanded to Saturdays as well. Uh, starting this week, enjoy your brunch from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on both Saturday and Sunday. Reservations are now available. Today's featured article on the Diz comes from Spencer Wright with Mary Pod's Mary Poppins returns hitting theaters in December. Spencer revisits the Valerie Lawson book, Mary Poppins, she wrote, The Life of P.L. Travers. Also today, we have the next uh, installment in our weekly staff column series. It's my turn this week with It's Not the Size of the Castle. And I talk about what happens when a Disneyland expert um, is called upon to plan a Disney D Disneyland day for a first-time visitor. You will find the column the Reluctant Tour Guide, later this afternoon over at www.info.com. Trending on the Diz boards today is a thread from a very frustrated Pouts, who up, woke up yesterday to book fast passes for an upcoming Walt Disney World vacation and was told that everything was already booked. Uh, Dizzers reassured the poster that the site was just down, not all the fast passes were gone, but they did have suggestions for dealing with all those IT issues guests encounter at Disney. And you will find the thread. Um, to, today is my 60 day fast passes say all gone in the theme parks, attractions and strategies forum over at disboards.com. Now, if you are heading into the parks tomorrow, it's going to be partly cloudy in Orlando, high of 91, low of 75. Sunny skies again in Anaheim, high of 87, low of 70. You'll find all the, you'll find links to all these stories and more on our daily fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash daily fix that's going to do it for me today but be sure to join us join us again tomorrow for the next installment of the diz daily fix have a great day